Hey Shopify store owners, in this video Justin will be showing you how to create a Facebook ad for your Shopify store. Hi this is Justin from OSI Affiliate Software. In today's video we're going to be going over how to create a Facebook ad to drive more traffic to your e-commerce website. So first what you need to do is make sure you have a Facebook page. Now I quickly set one up for standard sneakers and as you can see it's pretty empty right now but that's all I need for now. You can of course add more information, but just for now what we're going to do is go over here to this drop down arrow and click on create ads. So there's several options here and we're going to use clicks to website. Now we're going to insert our URL. Okay, now that I put in my URL, it's going to scan it. And as you can see, it gives us a image to use. However, I don't really like that image, so I'm going to get rid of it and add my own. Okay, so I've put in my image, just a picture of a sneaker that I might be selling. Uh, this one's pretty standard. And as you can see, it's got a plain background so you can clearly see what I am showing. This image is very important because it will show up in your advertisement. Okay, so now that we've picked out our pictures, now what we need to do is select what page we want this to be for. So we're going to select our e-commerce store. And now we get to edit the headline and text. So for the headline, I'm going to put in something that will describe what I am trying to get people to check out. Okay, so I just typed in great selection of shoes. As you can see, you do have a limit for your headline. I actually only have one character left, but here is what it's going to look like down here. Now here for the text, we can change this as well. And basically, we can give them more context as to what they will find whenever they click on our link. So as you can see, I am promoting this 50% off sale. And I'll even add the word sale right here, just so they know uh, that we do have a sale going on uh, for all of our shoes at standard sneakers that are running shoes. So we've given them some context. Now here on call to action, I'm going to add the shop now call to action. It makes a whole lot of sense since people will be wanting to shop. So I'm going to add that button. You can of course change this um, depending on what your website is doing, but odds are you're using an e-commerce website. So shop now makes sense. Okay. So we can see what this looks like on a desktop in the newsfeed, but we can also look, see what it looks like in the mobile newsfeed as well as what it looks like in the right column. So all that looks great. I'm going to keep it just how it is and uh, let's keep going. Now here at audience, this is actually very important. You need to define who your audience is. What you're looking for is something that is broad enough to where you have enough people to show the ad to, but specific enough to where the people that see the ad are actually interested in what you're selling. This is of course going to depend on what you're selling, but here on age, I'm looking for younger people. So we're going to go 18 to 35. I'm going to target both genders and we'll put the language to US English. Here on more demographics, we can add some more constraints such as only look for people that are in a certain relationship status. However, that doesn't really have to do a whole lot with shoes. So I'm going to leave these how they are. Now here on interests, you can actually find some good ones. For instance, there is an interest for shoes. That's definitely something that's going to help us out. We can add others like there might be one for running. As you can see there, there is an interest group for running. All right. So right now I'm targeting shoes and running. This is a great cross section as I'm selling, you know, running shoes. So people are interested in shoes and running will be seeing my ads here on behaviors. We can also look for certain people's behaviors, such as we can look at their purchase behavior here and we can go under here to health and look for people that buy for instance vitamins and supplements as these might be the same people that are running. There is also the uh, running behavior which I would add as well as well as shoes once again and uh, I'm going to keep it like that. Up here we can see how our audience is looking. As you can see, we're right in the middle of broad and specific. Our potential reach is currently at 1.2 million people. 
Now if you needed to, you could change your demographics to get a little bit more specific or broad. For instance, I could change my age to only look for people that are 18 to 22, and that decreases my potential reach to 320,000, but that's not what I'm looking for. Um, it's not going to help me out a whole lot. I like my reach how it is right now, so let's keep going. Okay, so here on account and campaign, we're going to keep this at uh, US dollars, and this is my time zone, and uh, we'll give this at a name. We'll call it uh, running shoes sale, and for our budget, we can change this to whatever your budget is. This is, of course, going to depend on uh, what your budget looks like, how much you're willing to pay. Uh, but you can change this from lifetime budget to per day. Um, essentially, lifetime budget just means one price, and that might go away in one day or one year. You don't really know. Uh, so I'm going to keep this at $15 per day. And we can schedule this, but I want this to start immediately. Here, you can either bid for clicks or impressions. If you bid for impressions, that means that you pay for every single time someone sees your ad. Now, you're going to be paying a whole lot less per impression than per click. So this is really something that you could mess around with, but I want to just bid for clicks because I'm looking for people to click, not just to see my advertisement. Now here on pricing, I think it's important to try manually setting your cost per click. This is basically how much you're willing to pay for every person that clicks. So you could keep it at you know something that they suggest. Uh, they suggest 40 cents to 76 cents. Personally, I would try sticking around this lower value as you can usually get quite a few clicks um, even at lower values. But what you could do even is decrease it to say 35 cents, which is actually out of the range. But you might find that you're still um, winning bids at 35 cents. Of course, if you do bid this low and you come back and you find that your ads aren't being displayed at all, um, you will need to increase this to say, you know, I would try 45 cents and going from there. And now once you've done that, you can just click place your order and you are done. Uh, Facebook will just walk you through adding your payment options. This has been Justin from OSI Affiliate Software. I hope you enjoyed this video and please check out our other videos about e-commerce marketing.